Hi guys, the Metal Maniac back again, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a review on the album Unnatural Selection by the band Havoc. Um, this is their third album. Um, yep. Again, they don't have the, uh, um, they don't have the, uh, copyright date on here. Um, but yeah, so this is their third album, and, uh... First off, I'm going to name off the band members. Alright, that's weird. Uh, this this uh, uh, album doesn't have any credits. Um, usually the credits would be um, in the... Uh, either somewhere on here or on the back. Uh, but there's no credits. Um, that's pretty odd. Um, so I guess I'll just get to the songs. So the album starts off with the song uh, I Am The State. Um, it's a pretty good song. Um, not the strongest song to start off the album, but, you know, it, it works. Um, the next song is called Give Me Liberty or Give Me Death. This song should have been the one to start off the album. It's so good. It has this really heavy, sinister, catchy guitar riff, and then this really cool solo, and the vocals are just downright aggressive on this one. Uh, but yeah, Give Me Liberty or Give Me Death is a great song, and it should have been the one to start off the album, start off the album. Um, the next song is called It, Is It True? Um, this one eh, is kind of forgettable. Um, uh, the next song is called Under the Gun, another one that's kind of forgettable. Um... The next song is called Waste of Life. Okay, here's another great one, just like with uh, Give Me Liberty or Give Me Death. Um, again, the guitar riff is super catchy, the vocals are great, just all the instrumentation just is perfect. Um, but yeah, just a very good song overall. Uh, the next song is called Living Nightmare, another great song. Um... Again, instrumentation-wise, it's great. Vocal-wise, it's great. It's super catchy. Um, but yeah. The next song is called Chasing the Edge. Very forgettable. The next song after that is called Worse Than War. Also very forgettable. Um, and then you have a very odd one on here. Uh, the, a cover of the Black Sabbath song, uh, Children of the Grave. Um, the song itself, in my opinion, the original one, is one of the worst Black Sabbath songs. It's just extremely overrated and all around not really that good or memorable in, in any way. Um, but going back to this album, I don't know why they chose not only one of the worst Black Sabbath songs to cover, but a Black Sabbath song in general, considering Black Sabbath. Um, yeah, they, their early days, they were more doom metal now they're uh and then later on in the 80s and uh after that they were more uh sort of heavy metal as well um but i don't know it's just a really odd choice of a cover song um and then the uh last song is the title track unnatural selection um again very forgettable um, so, for my final thoughts and my rating, I'm going to show off the artwork really quick. Um, it looks really, really cool. Um, just like with, uh, the other, uh, two, uh, Havoc albums I've reviewed, uh, even though the artwork itself is phenomenal, the thing that really draws my attention is the color palette. Um, and this one, for example, it has, uh, blacks. Uh, has black, yellow, green, uh, more of a, a standard green, and blue. Um, it's just a really cool color combination um, with these sort of neon uh, colors. And then the back also has some artwork as well, um, as you can see there. 
and then the track listing. So my overall thoughts. Um, it's a very, very disappointing album considering their first two. Uh, Burn, their first album, is very good, especially on the second half of the album. That second half of the album is just so good. It's just amazing. Um, and then their second album, Time Is Up, the majority of that album is really, really good. Um, there's yeah, a few songs here and there that are, are kind of forgettable, but for the most part, that album is amazing, um, from, you know, both side A and side B. This album, on the other hand, for the most part, um, well, here's how, how, how I'd describe it. You have four. Four really great songs. Four absolute masterpieces of songs, in my opinion. Uh, but then you get four very forgettable and just downright boring songs. And then you have a cover of the one of the worst Black Sabbath albums of all... Uh, sorry, not one of the worst Black Sabbath songs of all time. Children of the Grave, a very overrated Black Sabbath song, in my opinion, is one of the worst. Um, but you get a cover of that for some reason. So overall, even though it has four great songs, the rest of the album is just bland and forgettable. Um, and the and the songs are just so boring. They just sound and they sound pretty much the same for the most part. Um, I'm gonna give this album a four out of ten. Uh, I would have given it a lower rating, but there are four really good songs. But unfortunately, the rest of the album is very bland and forgettable. Um, but yeah. So that's it for this review. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all next time.